Hello again, Dave Yance here with the Heating Refrigeration Program at the Kansas City, Kansas Community College Technical Education Center. Today we want to talk a little bit about the air conditioning uh, in your home. And here we have a traditional window air conditioner. Uh, and as you can see from this, what we want to talk a little bit about today is how does this thing work? How does it cool your house? And I put a thermometer in the vent here, and if you can see the thermometer here, it's saying that it's putting out 44 degree air into the room. And if I take a look at the room thermometer, it says that the room temperature is 71 degrees. So where are we getting that 44 degree air from? Actually, we are not creating cold air. What we're really doing is taking the heat out of the room and recycling that same air back into the room minus the heat. Thusly, we get 44 degree air. This is what we call in the trade heat transfer. We simply are taking the heat out of this room and we're going to transfer it outside to an area where we don't care about the temperature. So if we take a look, the air from the room was cycled in across the unit. It went through a series of steps that we're going to cover tomorrow. And the heat is absorbed out of the air in the refrigerant and brought through this coil outside and distributed. So if I run my hand across here, I can feel hot air. And that hot air is the air from this side with the heat removed. So we took the heat from here and we dumped it over here. That's called heat transfer. That's what air conditioning is all about. Kind of an interesting thought when you get in your car and you turn on your air conditioner it's taking the hot air in your car, running it through this exact same system, putting the air back into your car minus the heat, and thusly it cools your car. The refrigerator works the same way. We remove the heat out of the food product, dairy products that you have in the refrigerator, and that heat is transferred to the back or bottom of the refrigerator and thusly the temperature inside the refrigerator is minus the heat. And so we can take another look at that with this unit. 